Hello ladies and hello gentlemen. This is again Shakes from Smarter. Welcome to Ruby tutorial number 38. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you about hashes in Ruby. Now, let's move forward. First of all, what are hashes? Similar to the array, hashes are also heterogeneous. That is, it can hold mixture of data types in the same hash. Now, you must be thinking, what is the difference between an array and the hash? Let's check it out. This is an array 1, 3.0 shakes smart herd fixed num which is the integer then float value then string then string like this. Now in array we used to have our index like this 0, 1, 2, 3 then minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. If you remember guys this is the negative index of the array. Now similar to the array also hashes are also index and it contains a key value pair now what is a key and what is a value in hashes let's check it out this is the syntax of the of defining a hash this is a variable name hash underscore name equal to curly braces then this is a key and this is a symbol equal to greater than then it is a value now this one 3.0 shrieks and smart herd are the values and in array we have the 0 1 2 3 as keys so this is the index in array and this index is known as keys in hashes now let's see an example let us see how hash looks like this is what the hash looks like now here 0, 1, 2, 3 are index of these values. Here 1, 3.0, Shrek, Smarter are the values and its index, that is the keys, is key1, key2, key3 and key4. Whenever we write hash name subscript key1, this implies the value 1. So, instead of having the default index or keys as that of arrays, we can define our own index like this key 1, key 2, key 3 and key 4 whatever you can write first, second, third, fourth also as keys now let's move forward to make the things more clear how to create a hash let's see our first method to create a hash now this fruits is the hash variable equal to within the curly braces we have to define our hash contents that is key and the value key and the value key and the value this red is the key and its value is apple yellow is the key and banana is the value green is the key and guava is the value like this so this column gives the keys and this column gives the values and all the key value pair are separated by just a comma after this key value pair a comma then again after this key value pair a comma now the question arises how to print these values with the help of these keys we just have to simply write put us fruits subscript yellow now in arrays we used to write fruits subscript 0 or 1 or 2 like this but here we just have to write the key name fruits subscript yellow now fruits subscript yellow is here banana so this is going to print an output that is banana like this now you must be thinking that keys are always string but no these keys can be integer or float or string whatever you want as per your wish now let's see another example let's see like this this is an another hash it is all the values of this fruits hashes and this fruit hash are same only difference is that I have changed the keys in order to make the things more clear. Here instead of string keys I have taken the fixed num which is a float which is an integer value 4.7 which is what a float value then 3.245 it is also a float value so this column represent the keys and this column represent the values. Now in order to access this banana we have to write put as fruit subscript 4.7 instead of yellow I have written 4.7 both fruits 4.7 and fruits yellow will target this banana and print this banana like this the output will be same now 
Let's move forward. Let's see our second method to create a hash. Similar to create a class like this, class name equal to class dot newt or array name equal to array dot new. We can also write fruits equal to hash dot new. Here I have created a fruits which is a hash. Now how to initialize the fruits contents? We have to initialize the fruits contents like this fruits subscript red equal to apple. This automatically becomes a key and its value becomes apple. Now fruits yellow equal to banana. This is a key and this is value. Similarly fruit screen is a key and guava it is value. Now similarly in order to print banana again we have to write put as fruits yellow. It is going to print banana like this. Not so difficult guys very easy. Now let's see our third way to create a hash. In this case also we just have to write fruits equal to hash dot new like this then again but here we are using the store function fruits dot store red comma apple now this store method contains the two parameters the first parameter is the key and the second parameter automatically gets converted into the value similarly here is a key value key value so store has the parameter of key value pairs like this then again in order to access this banana we just have to write put as fruits yellow we will get the output like this simply banana this tutorial was just an introduction guys about hashes how to create hashes in the next tutorial onwards we will go deep into the hashes look at the various functions and methods of hashes so stay tuned and please subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment below my video thank you